Well, hello, Internet. I haven't done very many reviews like this before, but I just got my Azoden KP3 pump in. I've been waiting for this for quite some time. I've actually called them um, and thought about canceling a few times because it took so long to get here. thought about maybe getting a sniper or something similar, but really wanted to get this. Been waiting for it for months now. Uh, finally came here, got may maybe 15 minutes ago, it showed up at my door. So I thought I'd do a, just a quick unboxing on this. I don't really have much in mind for it. Um, so let's, uh, let's just go ahead and get to it. The box is uh, it's really slim. It's nice and slim. There's, there's uh, really compact compared to other ones where it's a very, very thick box. This one's not too bad. should be able to pack it in a gear bag. Pretty simple. It's like just a basic manual here. We got some stickers or something. All right. Barrel sock. Looks like we got just a little bag full of parts here. A couple O-rings, some screws. Looks like a couple ball detents in there. Some Allen wrenches. Nothing too spectacular. Looks like we get the one barrel back. I wasn't sure how many this was going to come with. I read various things, maybe three or whatnot, but it looks like this one is a, uh, a 685. Let's see if I can get it to focus there. Yeah. So, not bad. Got an O-ring on the back. Not bad. Kind of like an all-American tip. Looks good. Doesn't have anything, any burrs or anything funny like that. Wait, just a little spot. Looks pretty clean. Alright, let's see if we can dig this thing out of here. This foam is, it's a very, very high-density foam. It's not, uh, it's not cheap by any means. This case will, this box will be well served for this gun. All right, so uh, not bad, not bad. It's got a good feel to it. It's a little heavy, but not terrible. I would imagine that with the you know the extra weight of the dual cocking rods, that it would be a little heavier. I do not see the um, the quick little, the little finger pump attachment for this one. Looks like it's got a decent feed neck. Let's set this down here. I don't have a stand for this, I apologize, so I'm just kind of freehanding this with my cell phone here. So we'll move some of this out of the way. So, yeah, not too bad. Looks like maybe. Yep. Velocity adjustment. It's got basic on off in here. Not bad. Things nice and crisp. Nothing feels loose. It's got that little, that nice that nice rebound. A little bit of take up. Brakes fairly clean, a little bit of spring, you can kind of see it bounce. Not bad though. Looks like we've got a couple of ball detents in there. So you can feel those. Yep, there's a couple on there. Not bad. I think for the price, this is going to be a really good seller. Um, I'm going to try and get uh, get out to the field this Friday after work and see if we can't get some gameplay in with this. I'll take my GoPro with me and get some video of it uh, in action, and we'll go get that posted to the channel, and we'll see how it does. So, well, I don't know if anybody's in the market for a KP3, but. Uh, there you go. It's just a brief unboxing. That's what you get. So if you have any questions, 
put them in the comments section and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks.